All right, welcome everybody back to Hollow Knight. This is likely going to be the final stream. It would just be poetic to end on 35. It's a nice round number, and I think we can get everything done that we want to today and finish everything in under 60 hours. I wonder how uh <laughs> wonder how good that time is compared to other first timers. I don't know, but I think compared to speedrunners, this is a little on the slow side. 111 <laughs> percent yeah exactly now before I do the pantheon I want to practice the pure vessel a little bit more because I am out of practice and I don't want to have to refight the pantheon every single time that I fail so, in the past, I did Fury of the Fallen. I don't want to rely on Fury of the Fallen, though. When I actually do the Pantheon. So, I think instead... Not Spider Friends. I like Spider Friends. I think instead, maybe a Lone Nail? I think maybe that would be better. Whoa. So we'll go and practice this guy a little bit, and then we'll do the Pantheon. Actually, no. First, before we do that, there's apparently a secret above the Grim statue. And apparently, according to Proxima, you can do it in two jumps. Which, uh, press X to doubt. I am very surprised that Grimm was not included in the Pantheons. Did, I know Grimm was part of DLC. Did the Grimm DLC come out after the Pantheon DLC? Is that why he wasn't up there? Not directly above, a couple of arches to the right. Okay. Is there a hidden wall up here or something? I'm sorry, yeah, Grim was in the pan. Nightmare King Grim was not, which kind of surprises me. On the last one that I can reach. You have to clean on the wall, dash out from the top, jump higher, and slash above you. What? the heck? How would anybody find that without a guide? How the heck would anybody find that without a guide? It's Zoot! Regular Zoot? You thought you had enough of him. It's Zote the Mighty! Well, that was refreshingly easy. The Eternal Ordeal! What? I don't like the sound of that. I don't want to fight Zote for eternity. What the heck? Oh, great, so it's just infinite Zotes are appearing. This is surreal. What is with the game's obsession with Zote? They're like, let's make you fight Zote literally all the times. Let's see how far we can go, I guess. Hey, you were dead. I hit you so much. Uh-oh. Big boy Zotes. How is this Zote over here not dead? It's not letting me do my... It wouldn't let me do my downward dash. Alright, well... I guess that's a thing. Considering it had the title, The Eternal Struggle on it, I'm guessing that that just goes on forever, and it's like, how many Zotes can you defeat? 
So I'm not. I'm probably not going to be doing that anymore. <laughs> and I didn't even have to dream nail that. That was literally just a challenge. Okay. Uh, that was a thing. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> Forgive me for not really wanting to do that more than once. But you win if you get at least 57? Oh, is that how it goes? Alright. I still want to practice pure vessel a bit. With steady body and sharp shadow, I think it's possible. Okay, that was a mistake. Yeah, see that this is this is why I practice it before actually just going right to the pantheon because I'm woefully out of practice and this guy is really tough. I'll go back and fight the Zotes till I get number 57, but I'll change my starting equipment for that. Ah, yes. I'm so happy that <laughs> that Pure Vessel is such a good fight. I gotta become a master at this before attempting that Pantheon. Because, of course, if I fail to him in the Pantheon, I have to repeat the entire Pantheon again. And I'm not doing that more than I have to. Of course, if he's going to be a cheap little butt, then there's not a whole lot I can do. Ouch. That's right, I need to be more patient with this fight. I can't just be like, I gotta slash him as much as possible, because that will make me take damage at a much much faster rate than I took damage in. <laughs> Which, yeah, that's, that's always fun. Hi! Hi! Let's be friends. But he doesn't want that. I wasn't even close to there. Oh, I forgot about that move. Sharp Shadow for the win. This is definitely one of those fights that Sharp Shadow was made for. Shoot, I forgot about that move. Shoot, okay. I'm getting there, though. I'm getting there. 
just don't don't get greedy. Be very, very alert of when your sharp shadow is on cooldown. Keep calm. Heal only when he gets knocked down. Again. Don't want to go to the Pantheon until I've mastered this. Ouch. Ouch! Okay, that... I'm surprised that, uh, Quick Slash works well for this fight. I mean, it only works well when he does that move, pretty much, but... Darn it! I feel like when he parries, oftentimes even when you should be able to Shadow Dash through him, it just doesn't work. It's quite... quite obnoxious. Also, when he does that dash move, it's so often I use my dash button and then it just nothing happens. Darn you! Darn- I- I really hate how the swords are super thick on the bottom. Which really messes up, where it's like, oh, here's where the swords are gonna be. Actually, they're gonna extend way farther than you're expecting. Like, it's really precise to fit in between those. Which is why I usually try to just be next to him, but... If he teleports right above me when I'm not expecting it, I have to dash away, which... Messes fiends up. Whereas times like that are ideal. But I now I can only truly safely heal once. Because if I try healing twice and then he does that upward slash attack, then I will die. Yeah. yeah, I really dislike this fight. Because normally, if I would get to a fight like this, I'd be like, oh, well, I'm sure if I get better equipment, then he'll be a lot more manageable. But I literally have all the equipment in the game, and he's still this stupid, so... I'm going to say that's an issue on the boss designers. Yeah, like, right there, I Shadow Dash through him, but just, like, I stopped partway through just so he could hit me. And right there, as well. I don't know why sometimes my Shadow Dash stops prematurely just so I can get hit by him. But it's very frustrating. Especially because it happens consistently. And because he can just all of a sudden parry out of nowhere while you're in the middle of a Quick Slash, there's not really any way of avoiding that. It just seems like, oh, he parried you? Cool, you're taking a hit. You're taking a hit, even if you should be able to Shadow Dash through him you'll for, for no reason stop part of the way through it. It was not on cooldown! I hadn't dashed in ages! You 
can tell from the black particles, I'm on the black background. Yeah, I definitely feel like they could have made the Shadow Dash mechanics a lot better. I am still not used to that Shadow Tentacle grab move. Like, right there, my dash was not on cooldown, because I'd been attacking him for a very long time. I was also... Yeah, what's, what's super annoying about this fight is it feels like most of the times when I die, it wasn't my fault. It was just the basic gameplay mechanics of the Shadow Dash didn't play nice and just decided I should take a hit even when I shouldn't. And because he deals so much damage per attack, a single hit from a Mist Dash deals a whole lot more, is a lot more annoying than you might think. Like, I understand his patterns, it's just getting stuff into muscle memory that's the tough part. That part I still don't have an answer to, because he only does that later on. Okay, that's just a simple double jump. Cool! Now I'm getting it down. His ascended difficulty is really tough just because he deals, I think, four damage per hit. But cool. Let's see if I can do it first try this time. If I can do it first try this time, then I'll know I'm ready. If I can even get close to it first try, then I'll also probably know I'm ready. That's why I only hit him once. Whoops. Okay, it feels like if he parries you right next to the wall... That's when you stop prematurely. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent, Smithers. Artie's ready to rock. Now first we gotta equip our stuff for the first, uh... So I'm gonna equip Quick Focus... ...for the first set of Pantheons. 
because I will do more healing there. And there's a bench midway through, and that's when I'll equip my uh, other stuff. Are you sure you don't want to bind yourself? I'm pretty sure I don't want to bind myself. Now, I don't have a long nail, which might come back to bite me. But this guy's not too bad. Oh no. Okay, well I took more damage there than I expected, but that's okay. Alright, you. The real boss here are the little orange guys. Also, I have sh I have sharp shadow. Yeah, man, when the orange guys appear like right above you and when you need to jump. That's pretty annoying. Okay, don't sharp shadow through him, because it knocks him into you when you pop out. So this is one of those fights where sharp shadow is actually a bad thing. Right. I still consider Lost King to be one of the toughest fights I did just because I fought him when I had very low equipment. Obviously, most of the bosses I faced later on are a lot harder than him at this point. Like, Ascended Markov, Nightmare King Grimm, and the Pure Vessel are obviously a lot harder than the Lost Kin is. Lost Kin was the perfect level of difficulty where I'm like, he's ridiculously hard, but I know I can beat him with this low equipment I have. Which is what made me keep trying him over and over again. Alright, these first few Pantheons are not that tough. Oh boy. Okay, I spoke too soon. This guy's tough. You got Pocky! Nice. That's the kissing cookie stick, right? I think we all killed Burfa a little bit. But yeah, he did kill Burfa, which was not so nice of him. Oh, that's right. It's Poop Bro. Oh, Poop Bro. Oh, shoot. This guy's going to be really tough without the long range nail. I am definitely not used to fighting this guy without the uh, hero's pride. <sighs> Thank you for letting me heal, sir. Thunder! <laughs> How very chaste of you. Baba. 
Okay, that was close. <laughs> oh, Honda! <laughs> okay, this is where we gotta change up our equipment to be ready for the pure vessel. Alright. Steady body, long nail. I actually forget who we have left. Oh, that's right. This guy. This guy will be a lot easier now that we have Quick Slash equipped, okay. Well, he should be a lot easier now that we have Quick Slash equipped, but I'm, I'm screwing up a lot. Supposed to be, why is it taking so long to heal? Artie, it's because you unequipped qu uh, <laughs> quick focus. <laughs> Duh. Oh, sweet. The great shell belongs to me. <laughs> is that so? Hey, Mobius. I, I, I'm, I'm thinking it'll be the Hollow Knight finale because I'm pretty sure I can finish the rest of it this stream. Oh, that's right. Let's bring back Sauron. I don't want to bring back Sauron. The real, the real tough part about this boss fight when he was ascended was the floor. The hardest boss in the game is the lack of floor. Oh! The game essentially turned into Cuphead at this point. I still like Cuphead more. But I'm also a lot better at Cuphead than I am at this game. Oh, yes! Quick... Yes, Quick Slash will be great for these guys, too. I mean, Quick Slash is just great in general, but these guys in particular, it just wrecks them. That's right, get out of here. <laughs> I'll hide behind the foreground. No one will ever find me. Oh, that's right. This guy will be tough without the... Oh, this guy will actually be quite tough without Mark of Pride. And Quick Slash ain't gonna help here. Yeah, I can't get as many hits in without the Mark of Pride. Ho -ho. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I got an extra hit on him. I'm so happy. Uh oh. That was not the move I was expecting. I not knocked him down again. Oh. Cool. If only he was a little lower down. Then I could actually quick slash him. Oh, no, he's dead anyways. Ha! Oh. Thank you. Thank you. It was nothing. Oh boy, here it is. The big one. Alright. I've beaten him three times now. Twice in a row. We can do this. Oh, there's another fight after this. Wrong way. That's not good. I keep dashing in the wrong direction. <gasps> I hate not being able to see what he's going to do. Nope. Must heal twice, must heal twice. Nope. Yeah! <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> I actually thought I had died there for a second, but I got my heal off just in time. Yes! Oh my gosh. I can't believe I lived for that, actually. My brothers, I set you free! <laughs> and now the Pharisees are gonna get really mad at me, right? <laughs> That's 112%! Aw oh, yeah! Aw oh, yeah! Do 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 <laughs> Congratulations, you didn't get any of the bindings, so you suck. <laughs> and it took you more than ten minutes. <laughs> wow. And then I just walk out of there like it was nothing. <laughs> Did you guys see that I beat the fourth pantheon? Yeah, it's true. Mm hmm. Oh, yes. Better sit at the bench before my game crashes. <laughs> I can't say that was the first try, because I failed that Pantheon multiple times last stream. But it was the first try for the second stream, so... Ooh, pretty. And what does this do? You destroyed the world, you idiot! Uh, okay. So there's something up here now? Oh, the hot springs. I'm so glad I have the hot springs when I there's a bench literally right below me. 
that does the same thing now. No, wait, that can't be the only thing. Yeah. Uh-oh. That's not good. Ascend? Hmm. Pantheon of the Hollow Nest. Seek the Kingdom's Forgotten Light. So there is another Pantheon. Uh-huh. Tell you what. Before we attempt that, there are some other things I want to do. For one, I'm going to go back and hunt 57 Zotes, because apparently that makes you win something. That's going to... If any Pantheon has Nightmare King Grimm in it, it's going to be that one. Which is funny, because Nightmare King Grimm is not even the hardest boss fight. And it's still my favorite boss fight. In case you couldn't tell, but... <laughs> Those were the credits? No, 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 no. Okay. So if we're fighting Zote... Yeah, Quick Slash we want. Maybe Steady Body as well, actually. I like Mark of Pride, though. <laughs> oh yeah, Nightmare King Grim, this theme is my favorite. It's my favorite in the game. I've, I have had the Stalwart Shell basically since the beginning, and I don't think I ever equipped it. Where it just gives you more invincibility frames. Actually, a lot of these patches I haven't equipped. Let's, let's be f fair about that. I like Steady Body, to be honest. Let's get Smith. <laughs> you know, so you're always talking about how you need to smell good. Well, here you go. Oh, but we gotta make our way up there again. I still think that's the dumbest hidden secret in the whole game. <laughs> That's literally one of those secrets where it's like, how are you supposed to find it? Buy a strategy guide. I sure wish there was a, uh... Sure wish there was a way where I could attack them without knocking them away. Because that's how they're dealing the most damage to me. Hearing Zode in echo form like this is not something I ever really wanted to hear. But here we are. What the heck is with this? <laughs> this only appears if you beat all 27,000 Zote fights. Okay, that guy fell on top of my head. That's not fair. Be nice if I could heal. Sure would be nice if I could heal. What would happen if you beat 999,999,999 zotes? You would be dead in real life. 
because by the time you beat all of that, you will be a skeleton. And if you're not, then you really need to prioritize what you do with your life more. Maybe I should have brought along the spider friends. Okay, so the flying zotes are not too bad, because they just kind of fly into you and they die really quickly. The regular zotes can be a bit annoying. Fat zotes are kind of annoying. These guys are the worst. The ones that can shoot you from a distance. What the heck? Do each of these count as like a new entry in the uh, the Monster Chronicles? Hey, I was trying to heal there, and that was very rude of you. What the heck is this? Is this literally like a psalm that's made entirely out of soap noises? Because I don't like it. What is this? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is really, really weird and kind of dumb. <laughs> All right, let's rethink our badge setup. No to that. We don't need steady body. We may not even need quick slash or here. We are getting them and Grub Psalm. Oh, I would like Shaman Stone too, to be honest. I think what we need to do is have. <gasps> yes! Okay, guys. Normally, we go physical strength. We go in spell setup this time. Come, Spider Friends. You will feed me all of the soul I need to blast them into oblivion. Why does it not let me cancel my dash a lot of the time? Spider friends plus grub soul means that the spider friends will gather soul for me. Ho ho ho! The eternal ordeal.
If somebody had showed me footage of this, I would have assumed this was a dumb mod somebody made. Somebody who liked Zote a little too much. Spider friends, go out and beat them up! Like, this reminds me of that Mario 64 ROM hack where every fiend and every f any fiend and every fiend has been replaced with Toad. Just never gonna let me heal, are ya? So it appears those giant Zote school. Oh no, they they rocketed back into outer space after enough time. No matter which way I slashed, he was always on the other side of me. Okay, getting to 57 Zotes is harder than I thought. I thought it would be really easy. But then it's like, oh no, there's like 18 different types of Zotes, and they each get more annoying than the last. Also, I kind of thought the spider friends were going to be running around and just beating people up, but they keep being like, I'm going to do nothing. Which is not what I hired you to do, spider friends. How do they... It's also very annoying that every time I hit them into the wall, they ricochet back on top of me. I also hate that because the foreground is so covered in zotes, it's hard to tell where there are actual zotes on the ground. Doesn't help that this is also by far the worst song in the game. How did that not kill him? I hit him with the souls of the tormented. Also, I definitely murdered you. Mm -hmm. I don't think the spell setup is working. I will try one more setup with that, but if I can't beat 57, then I'm not spending all stream doing that. Especially since we still have to go to the White Palace to see the secret there. This could be an okay one for Hive Blood. Yes, and we have to meet Big Bro. Whoever that is. Or the final boss. Hmm. 
Let's do something weird. Go all in on that. And we can equip one of her fane, huh? Oh, isn't that nice? Let's try this. That's fair. <laughs> I bet the reward for beating 57 Zotes is like satisfaction. Well, looking it up sounds more fun than doing this. <laughs> I think we might be running into the problem where I'm not going to be able to tell the Zotes from my minions. Maybe I didn't think this through. Seems to be working well so far, though. I hate how aggressive the fat guys are. Oh yeah, I cannot tell what the heck on screen is my stuff and what's their stuff. It's, why does everything have to be colored white? Okay, now forget that. Worked well at the beginning, but literally I could not tell what on screen was hostile and what was not. As it turns out, literally everything was hostile. Okay. We might need quick focus for this. I wonder if Dream Shield probably not. I, Dream Shield, I think, kind of sucks, actually. <laughs> It looks cool, but it kind of sucks. I must say, Quick Slash is actually pretty nice against the fat guys. And we can equip one other thing. <laughs> Just one, one toy. <laughs> one toy. Honestly, Unbreakable Heart could be decent. I don't think Long Nail would be all that useful. So, yeah, I'm actually going to go Unbreakable Heart. Actually, no. No, I'm gonna go Soul Catcher. Yeah, I thought the Spider Friends would be good too, but uh, if I could if I could give them colored outfits, then that would help a lot. Yeah, that secret passageway would be annoying enough to find all on its own, but the fact that you also have to break the ceiling as well is just like, what the heck. Oh, I get it. He can damage me in the intro cutscene, but I can't damage him. I see how it is. At least I never get tired of beating him up here. That's what you get for stealing my girl.
I hate it how often guys just land on top of you in this fight. How did you get through my quick slash? I did equip Quick Slash, right? Because it really didn't feel like I was using Quick Slash. I will try this one more time. But honestly, I've had enough of Zoe. He should have stayed as a very minor character and not as like, let's fight him 800 billion times. Fat guys are the worst, because they're huge and completely unrelenting, and it's really hard to get a single hit on them, because they're jumping constantly, and they send shockwaves out. I can't concentrate on the with the constant like rah, 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 rah. All of them are on one side, that's actually kind of nice. Because then I can heal with impunity. And now we've reached the part where we're not going to be able to heal anymore, really.
No, you bot! I should have healed then. I had quick focus. Okay, I got really close. One more time. I did until it spawned every single enemy on the side I was on and gave me no chance to escape. Also, why 57 out of all of them? Out of any number, that's like such a weird number. It's 57 because that signifies the number of times you had to fight Spirit Zoe. I also hate how you really can't stop them from just falling on your head when they spawn in. This is like the worst radio station ever. Too often it feels like you just, even with quick focus, don't have a chance to heal because you've got like 50 zotes on screen all running towards you. Or maybe they're not all running towards you, but there's always at least one running towards you. That guy just fell on my head. Oh look, I, I had to wait a full two seconds after the shockwave happened before it would let me jump. How are you supposed to get through this? Like, how? There's stuff spawning every two seconds, and you have no chance to heal. And apparently it just wouldn't let me heal even though I wasn't using magic and I had plenty of soul. Okay, no, this is just not fun. We're not doing this. See you later! And by see you later, I mean we are never seeing you again. was through here? I forget. Oh well. Thank goodness there are lots of hot springs here.
Maybe I'll make a bonus video, not a stream, where I do that. If that's like the one thing I don't do, then that's stupid, and I will probably record that, but I don't want to spend hours of this stream constantly hearing that stupid zote noises over and over again. Trying in vain to beat a dumb challenge. No siree, that doesn't sound fun. Alright, we'll go over to the White Palace and then we finish. Shoot, I forgot about my compass. Yes, I mean fighting the final box. It'll just be faster to warp to the arena, I think. I at least know where that is. Rather than having to crawl through the sewers without knowing which way I'm going. Cha-cha! We already got the true ending. Are you confident that we can win the arena? We already won the arena. I'm just going to the arena, because that's at least close to a stag station. Because we go into the hidden station. Thank you, sir. Actually, wait. We should probably bench and change our equipment first. Actually, I mean, this is a pretty good setup. But I think I'll equip the. I like. I like having a little extra reach. So you said there was a secret I missed here that was... I do not have to do the whole buzzsaw path again. Then I'm going to need some guidance, because this area is huge. Go up from the bench until I see a wind's mold and break the left wall. Okay. I was in the right oh. Okay. I don't remember off the top of my head what a wings mold is, so... I'm assuming it's something with wings. I'm assuming it's that. This is the path of pain. To witness secrets sealed, one must endure the harshest punishment. I already did that.
Oh, you thought the first buzzsaw area was hard? Wait till you see this one. I'm gonna stop you right there. I was told this was just a little secret. If this is the case, then we are getting a different set of equipment. We are absolutely getting hive blood. I was promised there would be ice cream. I will get deep focus. What are all the good platforming badges? Dash Master could be good, and maybe Sprint Master? No, not Sprint Master. I actually kind of want to be a little on the slow side. Ooh, the extra invincibility frames might actually be kind of useful here. Too bad we don't have enough to equip it. Sprint Master, then. I'm, I'm gonna regret doing this, aren't I? This better be worth it. <laughs> if I go to the end and it's just like, you get a lore reveal, it's like, okay, I'm gonna be a little annoyed by that. <laughs> I want a super badge. Or another charm notch. Another charm notch would be a good reward. Ouch. Okay. What? It spawns you all the way back here? Are you kidding me? I probably should have equipped Mark of Pride. Okay, really? Okay. To get that extra reach. But I didn't expect we would have to be pogoing on enemies. Oh, I hate this already. I do like deep focus for this area, though. This is... Are, is this just going to be a ridiculously long platforming section where you get absolutely no breaks, and if you screw up even once, you have to do the whole thing over again? Because that is really stupid if that's the case. You can make it super hard. That's fine. But you got to give us breaks in the middle. There are checkpoints right at the end. This first part better be the longest part you have to go through without a checkpoint, because this is already too much to go through without a checkpoint. Even, like, a single solid platform to stand on so that if you take damage you don't spawn all the way back at the start 
Also, I hate the ceiling here. It prevents you from wall jumping accurately. I also really hate how if you, like, take damage from that, it knocks you incredibly far, way farther than anything else in the game, just so you hit the spike and have to start over. Very stupid. This is, this is awful. It doesn't help that the wall jumping physics, especially when there's curved ceilings, are kinda wonky, even in the best of times. It's like, what if we had an entire vein of wonky wall jumps? Wouldn't that be fun? You... are you... Are you serious? There should be, like, four platforms in between this and where I died. There are zero. Like, there should be a platform after the buzz saws. There should be a platform... At Ugh. This is really frustrating. Gotta say, not a great way to end the stream series. We might be ending the stream series on two not fun challenges. Oh, look at that! That knocks me like three times farther away than anything else in the whole game just so that I hit the freaking spikes. Also, it literally wouldn't let me double jump there. This is Hollow Knight, not Kaizo Mario, so... Not knock it off with the... Like, this is literally what I would expect a Kaizo-level Hollow Knight ROM hack to be like. Not the actual one. Okay, the only thing left to do that would be a bit more fun is the end of the game. If I do the end of the game, I'm not coming back here. Oh my gosh, there's no room for error. There's, like, actually no room for error. I'm... I'm very sick. I'm sick of this already! And I'm not even past the first part, because the first part apparently takes a half hour to get through, and you have to do it perfectly. Okay, for that, you literally can't get through it unless you die a bunch of times and know exactly what's coming. This is terrible design. This is like how not to design a hard platforming level 101. Step 1, put in no checkpoints. People don't need them. Step 2, change the rules of the game. Step 3... <laughs> Make it unreasonable to do it. Step four, make it trial and error based so you literally can't get through it on your first attempt, even if you're good. I'm not mad at you. I'm, I'm mad at the terrible design of the game. Also, I, I appear to be getting an infinite amount of soul, because no matter how much I loot, no matter how much I heal, I keep get, seem to be getting it back. At least that's one point in its favor. Uh...
Look at that. It knocked... Nothing in the game knocks you that far away, except these things. And only when you're at this part of the White Palace, because they appear in the rest of the White Palace, and they don't knock you that far. At least the entrance to this area is super well hidden. It's almost like the developers are like, yeah, we probably shouldn't have put this in the game, but oh well. I wasn't even facing that direction, and it knocked me in that direction. Like, it's not even just magnifying the amount of knockback it gives you. It just it doesn't matter what direction you're facing. It always knocks you into the wall. Even if it logically it shouldn't. That's yet another cardinal sin. That better be a checkpoint. Okay, well, this part seems many magnitudes easier. Okay, yeah, see, this part is fine. This part is fine. This part is actually, like, genuinely challenging, but fun. So why did they make the beginning part so incredibly terrible? Like, that was a conscious decision they made on their part. Okay, this part is good. Oh, whoa. Oh, this is nuts. Okay. Okay, this is gonna suck. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, my poor bear bottom. This reminds me, this right here reminds me of the land of the livid dead from Rayman Origins. And that's not a compliment. How did I get past this the first time? <sighs> oh, you better give me a check. I was about to think they didn't give me a checkpoint. They did. Yeah. Okay, this is gonna stink. What the heck? Wait, what? How is this even possible? This is, this might be the most precise thing I've ever seen in a platforming game. You have to get this absolutely perfect. There is, there is, there is zero room for error here. 
I am very glad I picked up that honey badge. Okay. Why is my soul not re My soul is returning to me in that first room. Why is it not returning to me here? My gosh, there... <sighs> you have to press that, like, frame perfectly. Because if you press it too early, you go into the buzzsaw, and if you press it too late, then you just hit the thorns. How long does it take to get for the Path of Pain? If I die, do I have to restart the entire section? If I die, I respawn on the bench. So I have to do all of the Path of Pain again. Not just this room. All of it. Okay, I, that, that gap looks generous. It's not. With how fast you fall in this game, like, you literally need to push that, like, frame perfectly. No! This is about halfway through in terms of rooms. Great. Great. And now I'm messing up in the easy parts. Again, if your platforming section looks like it's something out of a Kaizo ROM hack, you are doing something wrong. Because Kaizo is not fun to play for most people. How am I messing up at the double jump at the end? Why did my health not refill? Why did my health not refill? Okay, well, Dash Master stinks. We're getting Mark of Pride. My, I had waited enough time. It should have refilled my health. Why did it not refill my health that time? This is not looking good. Unfortunately, I don't know what that is, so... <sighs> Back to the Room of Torture! At least with Mark of Pride, this part should be a little bit easier. That part is literally just like, I hope you know exactly what to do in advance and can do, like, frame-perfect tricks. Next time I stream a new stream series, I'll be playing something fun and easy, like Dark Souls.
Okay, cool. Oh, whoop, that's the wrong button. That's too high, that's too high. What? That one seems more slippery than the others. Oh no! What? It just ate my dash and my double jump. For no reason. And thanks for wall jumping when you're on the wall. How is it this difficult for you to wall jump off of a wall? How are you doing regular jumps off of a wall? How does that even make sense? Wow, I did that first try. Wow! Okay. Cool. Okay, that's a little tough. Apparently Shadow Dash does not work. On buzz saws. <laughs> Us, are you supposed to do this one? Oh, you can dash over there. Wow! For reals? This is terrible. This is boop. I will finish this as soon as possible, but at this point I'm in too far. I gotta do it. Oh no! You're gonna make me do a bunch of partial crystal dash. Wow! Yeah, let's just put thorns on every single part of the uh, on every single part of the labyrinth. Yeah, you just get it, Professor. You know exactly the kind of platforming challenges I like. At least they're generous with the soul re uh, revival statues. All right. This seems unreasonable. Oh wait, of course it is. It's Hollow Knight Path of Pain. I hate how that ceiling has forms on it. How can you do- how can you do that with a normal dash? You need to dash and then double jump afterwards.
This is ridiculously precise. Is this a case where you have to pogo off of all these buzz saws in a row? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, this is even more precise than I thought. No! Even if. Can you imagine how hard this would be without Mark of Pride? Still no checkpoint, because, you know, why would there be a checkpoint? Okay, you... Stop for a while. This is good. Oh, no, I hate... Why do they just not give you checkpoints? I know they why. He's like, oh my gosh, who needs checkpoints? This is the path of pain. Get good, scrub. You don't need checkpoints. Um... Yeah, we kind of do. Oh, Lord, that's annoying. Well, good for you. You're a wizard, Proxima. And I beat Kingdom Hearts 2 at level 1. <laughs> but, that doesn't mean I recommend everybody do that. How is this your pain, Mobius? Have you tried to do this as well? Oh, there were buzzsaws in the middle, because of course there were. If there was a fluffy black cat with me, I would absolutely be petting it, yes. Ah! Jeff Bridget! Can I just say, Hollow Knight has been absolutely nothing like what I expected. Now, in a lot of ways, that's a good thing. It's and it surpassed my expectations in a large variety of ways. But I was not expecting brutally difficult platforming challenges. <gasps> no, come on! I I even heard the clink of the hey, you hit the buzz saw and clinked off of it, and then it's just like, but you don't, you still get hit by it. Honestly, this is one of those moments that I probably should just say, no, I don't care about doing this, but no way. I'm just... Why does that keep happening? I'm not even touching the control stick at that part. The problem is, I'm this... Gun it. I'm this far in. I'm this far in, so I'm not giving up. Also, because I know I can do this with enough time. Yes! You just get it, Professor. You know exactly the kind of pain I like to go through. There better be a rootin' tootin' good reward at the end of this.
Okay, I don't think we're gonna be able to... Oh, you've gotta be... Surely you must be joking. Oh no, I see where that is. Okay, what the butts you supposed to do about this? And anytime you do the double jump, you still f continue falling for a little bit, which really, really ruins me. I have no idea how the cuss were supposed to get through that. There's nowhere to wall jump from. There's nowhere to wall jump from! Also, would it kill them to give a single bench in all of this? Just, I don't understand. There's no nowhere we can use as a platform. There's no walls, there's no platforms. Like, do they really expect you to pogo off of the buzzsaw as it's coming down at Mach 8? Because I think that's more than just a little unreasonable. I'm so sick of Hollow Knight not wall jumping as well. He's gripping the wall, but he's like, I'll do my double jump. So you don't get the double jump for later. Gar, I hate this. This better give me a badge at the end of it where it's like ev every single attack is a one-hit kill. It better be a badge like that. Am I seriously supposed to pogo off? I am seriously supposed to pogo off of that. Am I seriously supposed to pogo off of this one? Is Doing that once is unreasonable. Doing that twice is literally a task trick. Especially because the that other buzzsaw constantly gets in your way. This is so dumb. I guess it's good to know that the people who designed this also designed the Kaizo ROM hacks. First Mario World. Yeah. And of course they don't give you even a tiniest bit of a platform to be at. Heaven forbid we have a checkpoint. Heaven forbid we have good level design.
I swear they made these sections designed to be played on emulators so you could use save states. Like, there's really no other explanation. That or the people who designed the section just had no idea what makes a platforming level fun. One of those two. You you choose. Oh my gosh, we finally got to a checkpoint! And then there are sections like this, which actually are kind of good. Because they are restrained. So you can't just pogo off of all of them. Oh. Oops. I had to try. I had to at least see where that would lead me. And it led me into thorns. They probably made it with Twitch viewers in mind. I fail to see how anyone in Twitch chat would be enjoying this. Oh look, it ate my double jump for no reason. Yay! Oh look, it ate my double jump again for no reason! Yay! It ate my double jump again! So last stream it was the shadow dash not working properly. Here it's wall jumps and double jumps not working properly. Either way, that's a large amount of very basic core game mechanics that aren't working properly. Okay. That, at, when I get to that bug, all of a sudden just none of my controls work. Wait, what the cuss are you supposed to do there? Probably bounce off buzz saws for five rooms in a row without stop. I also really hate how sometimes the pogo, even when you successfully pogo, is just like, oh no, you, your pogo didn't work. You still hit the buzzsaw anyways, even though you hear the clinking sound of your nail against the buzzsaw. This better be the last section. Like, what else could they do? Oh, let's see, we've gone with buzz saws, and beetles, and thorns, and more buzz saws, and even more buzz saws, and did I mention more buzz saws? What else could we do? I know, how about more buzz saws? Yes! This is after they made a different dungeon in the same area that was also just pure buzz saws. Oh my! That next room better be small, and it better only have the reward in it. Doctor. 
Пиджи, пиджи, Why is it all... Why is it literally any time I want to finish Hollow Knight? It's like, oh, you have, like, one secret left, but it's an absolutely enormous secret! Oh, and now that you beat that, you can do other secrets. Like, I can't believe I'm saying this, but Hollow Knight is too big. This game is, I think, too big. I know they added DLC to it, but, like... Good grief. I know it's not something I should really be complaining about, but... There is such a thing as too much content. Just as points for zombies too. Darn it! Why? That's there's like no room for error there. You either hit the buzz saw on the top or the buzz saw at the bottom. I also hate how fast you fall at that part, which means you basically need. Again, this is with mark of pride. Oh, yeah. Plants vs. Zombies 2 was released, like, not 20 years ago, but like 15 years ago, and they are still adding more content to it. It's like, just let it die already. We don't need, like, 500 plants in the game. And yeah, there, there is, like, 500 plants in the game, and they keep adding new plants. Like, so remember remember when people were asking me, like, would you ever Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies 2? And I'd said, no. Yeah, th that's why. Even if you're beating just the base game, there's like 500 levels. At least that's what it feels like. Can we please actually get a double jump when I have one? That part with, I, yeah, you know, what else can I say but this is badly designed? There's only so many times you can say, this is terrible, or I hate this, before it's just, it's jaded. It's really annoying because the ceiling is so freaking low, and if you hit the ceiling for some reason, like, gravity works twice as hard, when, like, um, that is not how it should ever work. But for some reason in a lot of platforming games, that's how it works. Ugh. What's really annoying is that this is the last stream, and so we're ending this we're ending the whole series, which I've I've really enjoyed this overall. We're ending it on a sour note. And Path of Pain, every room is my least favorite, because every room has been terrible. Oh look! More wonky capogoing! I doubt there's a single person who actually had fun and enjoyed this on their first try. I will fight the final boss when I finish this. I don't know when it will be, but that's what's going to happen. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to snap at you. I know you guys are just here having fun. I'm just getting very, very deeply frustrated. Oh my gosh, we got through the Room of Torture, Part 5. Okay, so this is gonna- oh great, this is gonna be a room with all the spears. Great. Oh, look, wall jump didn't work. I love that when that happens. Why does the wall jump just not work? Like, it works fine here, but we get here if we don't... Well, 
this stinks. Well, what else is new? Uh. Oh, this is really dumb. And here I thought they were finally retiring the buzzsaws. No, of course not. Buzzsaw spam in this Hollow Knight level is like all those Mario World ROM hacks where they just spam munchers everywhere. It's the easy way out. Why could I... Wait, what? Why can't I not pogo off the ground here when I could last time? Oh, and great, now... I'll be honest, I do not even notice the music. Okay, never mind. The ground pogoing is super inconsistent. Just like the wall jumping! I refuse to I refuse to believe anybody including the developers enjoyed this when they first played it. And if that's true, if they didn't enjoy it when they tested it, why would they put it in the game? I just I don't understand. Is it like, oh, we are put we went to all the work of making this, so we got to make sure we put it in the game. We don't want the work to go to waste. It's like, well, if you're not making a quality product, then maybe you should leave it on the cutting room floor. This has been Artie's hot tip for the stream. No use! Oh, great. The buzzsaw is always in the wrong spot when I need the other one to be in the right spot. I hate how you have to pogo off of the spikes, which don't come out of the wall often. Oh, look! It ate my double jump because it refused to wall jump. For what, the 50th time now? What? <sighs> I just want this to be over. If I can be honest, I really haven't had fun playing this game for the last, like, two streams. I'm really hoping that fighting the final boss again will be fun. But, like, I really haven't enjoyed anything we've done this stream, or last stream. So I think it's definitely time to retire this game. <laughs> OBS disconnected? Guess what? I don't care. I really don't care. I really don't care. I'm gonna keep going. want to see me go through it and all the pain that came along with it, you gotta watch the YouTube VOD. Gosh darn it! This is the worst!
That's so stupid. That is so stupid. This is truly one of the worst design platforming sections I've ever seen in an official game. Obviously, if we're including ROM hacks and game mods in here, then this probably doesn't even crack the top 10 out of the ones I've seen, but, like, come on. We are playing an officially licensed game. We are not playing I Want to Be the Guy. So why does it feel like we're playing I Want to Be the Guy? Sucks, this sucks, this is just sucky, this sucks, this sucks, every part of this sucks, it, it's so bad, I don't think anybody likes this, not even the people who made it. I fully expect if the Hollow Knight developers ever got interviewed and people asked who was responsible for this, nobody would actually raise their hand. I'm finishing it tonight. This is the last room we can get through this. But man, this really is completely unfun in every sense of the word. I'm... I'm well aware that the stream cut out. I become aware of it before you guys do. I also decided I don't care. I'm going to keep going and trying this. And if I if I ended up making it while the stream was gone, then you guys can see what happens when the stream okay, this part stinks. This part stinks. This part stinks. Well, what am I saying? This part stinks. Every part stinks. Every part is garbage. So I made it to a farther part in here. I'm, I used... So the, what I'm getting at is that the, the bottom half of walls just don't exist. You can't wall jump off of them. You just get stuck underneath them. That's really what I'm getting at, what I'm finding out. I've made it to the like a part where I made it past pretty much all of this, and you get to a buzzsaw that moves at Mach 12 that you have to ride across and do a set of thorns, which is um, completely unreasonable, and why would anybody think that that's a good idea? But guess what? We're still doing it. Oh, you guys... Yeah. You guys didn't hear that. Yeah. The last two streams of Hollow Knight, I really haven't had any fun playing it. Because all of these endgame challenges just aren't fun to play. You got things like the Pure Vessel, all the Zote battles. The Pantheons aren't that fun. Imagine playing them when you have the Bindings as well. And, I mean, it goes without saying that this is colossally unfun. So I think... I gosh! Could they show even an ounce of mercy? Like, even just a tiny ounce of it. They're like, we did. We made it so you don't have to do the entire thing in one go. This part right here. Like, how in the world are you supposed to get past that? And of course, they don't give you any time to actually learn how to do it, because you have nowhere to, 
like, it's so far ahead you can't even see it. Hollow Knight 6969, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. You have arrived at a very, 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 very terrible part of Hollow Knight. But I'm sure you probably already know that, given your username. I'm sure this ain't your first rodeo. How you, how you been? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not really able to read chat right now. We're going through a bit of a mental breakdown right now. Ow. I'm coming up for freaking day! Like, they, sh they should be putting in m way more checkpoints than this. So much more. I've proven I can get through this part. I've proven it so many times. Why do I have to keep going through it over and over again? Because you've made the last part unreasonably sadistically difficult. Because it's the ultimate challenge. No, this is not the ultimate challenge. You're not proving that I can do something difficult. You're proving that I can endure stupid game design. There better not be. I was told this was the last room. If this, if all of this is a reward for something even harder, I'm kind of going to be really ticked. <laughs> Honestly, I think we peaked at Nightmare King Grim. I'm not saying that we should have ended the stream series after Nightmare King Grim, but that was the peak of the series. Come off it! This is so annoying! <sighs> this is where my stubbornness is showing. I Logically, I should have left this alone long ago. But I won't, I can't, because I'm too deep in. This is so stupid. Ah! And of course they put the freaking hardest part at the end, so when you inevitably fail at it 800 million times, you have to play this first part again 800 million times. Well, I don't need tea, because tea is disgusting. It's very true. Honestly, though, it's probably just tea perpetually reminds me of being sick, because I only ever have tea when I'm feeling sick. Well, at the rate that I'm going, it will take me an hour to get through it, especially if the wall jump just doesn't want to work. The final boss... Well, I mean... The final boss better be real. Really good. I really hope the final boss is, like, really, really, really good so we can end this series on a high note that should not have carried me into the ceiling! Good lord, this- everything about this room is fine-tuned to make it as obnoxious as possible.
what sound alert sums up Path of Pain. Um, one that is not appropriate for my see one that is not appropriate for my stream. Oh my gosh! Why do I have to repeat this over and over again? I give it a D, but I'd use a stronger word than that. I... When this stream is done, I have some homemade cookies in my cookie jar. I'm just gonna, like, gorge myself on them. And sit on the couch and just... Breathe a big sigh of relief. Good freaking lord! Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Oh, by the way, folks, <laughs> for anybody who doesn't remember, this stream was supposed to end almost an hour ago. And we haven't even started the final boss yet. Proxima, when you said that there were two things I hadn't done, maybe you didn't mean it this way, but it really sounded like they were tiny things that were quick checks. This does not fall under that category. <laughs> Again, I'm pretty sure you didn't actually say that they were little things. But the, when I read it, that's what I interpreted them as, where I'm like, I think there's nothing left, and you're like, there's just two things. So I was under the assumption we would get them done in a frankly timely manner. This is like literally the last thing I have left to do in the entire game. Other than come off it, Dutch darn it! I hate these stupid random spikes! Well, actually, well, that's only partially true. No, 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 you dumb butt of a buzzsaw. I will kill you. I will be very, very glad once this is over. At least the art style is incredible. I will give it that. But it's really saying something when I'm thinking, man, I'd almost rather be playing Bear Storming. Not saying for sure I'd rather. Oh, come on! I pogoed off of that! Give me a break, game! For crying out loud. I can't even get back to the part that's stupidly impossible with the Mach 8 buzzsaw. I'm not quitting, though. I am not a quitter. That's what a loser would do. Come on, I didn't touch the thorns! Please, game! Just cut me a break! Have I mentioned that there should be, like, four checkpoints in this room, and there are zero? Because there should be four checkpoints in this room, and there are zero.
Never played Meat Boy. I just hate, I hate this so much. I really, I want this whole place to just burn. Because that's what we do with worthless garbage. How am I not pogoing off of this? I'm not even doing this in an off pattern. Again, absolutely zero room for mistakes. You have to do everything pixel perfectly. Oh, did you jump ever so slightly too high? You hit the forns on the ceiling, because of course there are freaking forns on the ceiling! The only time I will stop this stream is if I literally have stayed up all night, can't beat it, and have to go to work. That is the only way I don't finish this stream tonight. I don't care if I literally pull an all-nighter and don't get any sleep. I'm finishing this stupid path of pain tonight. I gotta admit, it is somewhat impressive. Like, the last few streams have really been gunning for the position of what's the worst part of this game, but no, I think this takes the carrot. I think this takes the cake. I think this might be the worst part of the whole game. You freak... <sighs> that part is so freaking unfair! You should have at least put a small platform beforehand so we can at least redo that when we inevitably fail on it 800,000 times. But no, no, we want you to do this stupid, boring, tedious stuff that you've done 8 billion times over and over and over and over and over again. For literally no reason other than to increase our blood pressure and lower our lifespan. There should not be spikes on the ceiling. There should not be spikes on the ceiling. Well, actually, no, this whole area just should not. Period. Should not exist. Especially if there's actually no reward at the end of this. If there's no reward at the end of this... It's not gonna be pretty. I freaking pogoed. You can't tell me I didn't pogo there. I pushed all the buttons and I wasn't touching it. And that's still not even the freaking end of the gosh darn room. I'm sure you would. There's a reason why I turned that sound alert off. as it turns out, when I'm in a bad mood, kind of the last thing I want to hear is the sound of Arthur screaming. I was freaking Pokemon! You stupid freaking son of a gun game! Let me through this gosh darn room, give me the reward so I can freaking finish this already! I did it. 
Wow, yeah, literally nothing. I died, I made it to the end. Nope, screw that. I made it to the end. So long, Woody! Uh, can I escape now? Where's the freaking exit? Let me out of here! Why can I not escape from here? Get me out of here. I don't want to spend another second in this crappy place. Why do you feel bad for me? I did it. I made it to the end. I made it to the end. The two guys bowed to me and then took me back to the bench. Can I please escape from this freaking hellhole? I don't want to be here anymore. Yes, exit, never ever return. Good lord, that is probably the dumbest thing ever. That was a happy scream, because I got to the end, and I beat it. Alright, now let's equip our badges for the final boss. Quick Slash? Yes, I love Quick Slash. Ooh, very good. I like Mole Nail, too. Alright, back to Dirt Mouth, because that'll be the fastest way of go to the end. You can tell me that all you want. I made it to the freaking end. <laughs> Well, I don't know about you, but when I looked on that screen, I saw them bowing to me, and then it just turned to pure white, and then it faded out and back to the bench. Kind of anticlimactic. Alright. Oh, hey! Hornet's here again! Oh, do we get to do a tag team boss? The path is opened. One way or another, an end awaits inside. I won't be joining you in this. That space is built to sustain your likes. Its bindings would drain me if I were to join. Don't be surprised. I'd not risk my own life in your attempt. Though, if the moment presents, I'll aid as I'm able. Even if that's true, I don't care. I'm not going through that again. Especially if I have to start from the beginning. Freaking no. Oh no, the egg hatched. What will we do? Vessel, though bound, you shall know the state of the world. Hollow Nest will be whole again. Completion percentage viewable in the inventory. Y yes, I know that. Hey, Hollow Knight. Oh yeah, this guy's a cinch compared to the pure vessel.
Oh, that's right. Quick Slash just murders him. And he just killed him. He keeps killing himself. Okay. Like, look, dude. I know being the... I know being, like, the absorber of all the corruption in Hollowness must be terrible, but you don't need to kill yourself. Wait, oh! Hey, it's Hornet! Yeah! So this is how things are gonna change. I was wondering... I was wondering why she was here. Challenge? Is this going to be the freaking pure vessel again? It better not be. I'm so sick of fighting that guy. The Radiance. Okay, you're a weird looking guy. And you attack relentlessly, kind of. Oh, that's a freaking lot of damage. So this seems like kind of a hybrid of all of the spirit battles we've had before. All right, so this is, we're not gonna be able to just cheese our way through this. Oh, do we? Do we have to beat the freaking Hollow Knight every time we lose? Come on! What is with this game being ridiculously stingy with its checkpoints? Yikes. Hey, I but I did. I dream nailed him though. Get that. Oh, that's right! I was planning to dip back to the Pantheon of the Hollow Nest. But I didn't because the Zote battle took so long. And I didn't even end up finishing it. Jeez, there is no mercy in these fights. What the heck? I know it's the final boss and everything, but come on now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Also, she's doing freaking three damage per attack. There we go. Ooh. Okay, now this, maybe this is a bad thing. Oh no, the floor disappeared just like in that stupid Markov battle. Ouch. Okay, maybe I didn't time that properly, actually. <laughs> going. See, okay. Oh, hey, no, I don't like auto-scrollers, actually. Is 
Yeah, this might be bad. Oh, it's the spirit of the Hollow Knight. Wow, ripping its eye out? Throat out? Oh, dear. See, I don't want to be the shadow. Why do I get the feeling we're getting a bad ending? Like, the darkness just destroyed the light. That's... that's the, what happens when the bad stuff happens. Now it's gonna be like, Now darkness will invade the hollow nest for the next 10,000 years. She's the reason the infection started? I don't know about that. We'll see. Wait, that was the source of the plague? What? But it was light. Ooh, CG. Hey, thanks for the help, Hornet. I'm glad you actually came into play at the end. Because you were built up as being this major character, and then you really didn't do anything. Oh, no. My favorite skull mask. What will I do without that? Oh, it's the, oh, it's the spirits of all of the, f the fallen vessels. All right, will they just disappear now? I was expecting the final boss to be the king. Dream no more. It's over. It's finished. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, okay. You know what's the most exciting that was a cool thing about winning? It's when you win. <laughs> I love that feeling. I do too, but I guess you could say this victory it feels a little hollow. Uh... Right? Right? Because again, it's day after going through all of that torture the last few streams. Gotta admit, I don't feel as good about this ending as I probably should. <laughs> Oh, man. So, I guess there was stuff we didn't do. We appar Apparently, there's more at the end of the Path of Pain, but there is no way in cuss I'm going back and going through all of that torment again just to have a second chance at doing it. Nope. No, sir. Uh-uh. I'm not doing that. that. That's not fun. <laughs> and as far as I can tell from people saying that the reward is nothing, which, wow, that is just the definition of stupid. I also did never actually tried the Pantheon of Hollow Nest. I don't know what that is. I don't know. I think I'm just calling this quits. I'm pretty sure even I'm pretty sure the rest of the stuff I could do would just be completely not fun, and I wouldn't enjoy doing it. I mean, who knows? Maybe we'll play more next week to try to finish that up, but probably not. Maybe I'll make some side videos to showing off what happens when you do that, but probably not. <laughs> Panfane of Hollowness is every boss in a row. Heck no. Uh-uh. Not even trying that. Are you kidding me? It's terrible. I was barely able to beat the pure vessel. If I have to fight him, like, with Nightmare King Grimm, no, no freaking way. Special thanks to the 2,158 backers and Kickstarter. Yes, thank you. They're all on Ascended? Nope. Nope. Uh-uh. You have no idea how long it took me to beat Ascended Markov. Nope. 
Yeah, that's just that's that's not worth it. I ma I made a promise that I was I was only going to play this game as long as I was having fun. And I actually broke that promise because I was not having fun the last few streams, but we beat it and we got 112 percent. Well done on achieving this great feat. You persevered and you triumphed. We hope you enjoyed yourself in the world of Hollow Knight. We'll meet again soon on the road ahead. I did enjoy Hollow Knight until the end. Passing of the Age. I like the animated cutscene. This is nice. Oh my gosh, it's the freaking mushroom. be continued. Who cares about the mushroom? That was the longest side quest and that did nothing. The completion and true completion. Got 112%. Yes! We finished it under 60 hours! Oh yeah! Mm-hmm. That's what I was really aiming for. Press any button to continue. Well, yes, I would love to press any button to continue. Do we get a new title screen? I bet we get a new title screen. If you get 112%, you unlock the purple title screen. It's so worth it. Actually, wait. This is the this is the original title screen, isn't it? Void. Void heart. Classic. Hidden dream. Oh my gosh, I was joking about the purple title screen. Oh, you can get the Grim Troop menu style. That's cool. Lifeblood. Godmaster. Infected. Uh, Okay. We can get details on the Grim Troop? Oh, that's just on the content. Okay. One last thing we're going to do. And no, I'm not doing Pain of Fear of the Hollow Nest. I am not doing the Zote fights. I'm not going back to Path of Pain. It's just very, very, very quick. We're going to go back and check up on my ex-wife. Because even if I don't like her, we, we need to do it from time to time. All right. <laughs> Good night, DX. I'm sorry this stream went on for so long. I hope you have a fantastic night and you sleep well. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 it feels like we are jumping a lot higher than we normally do. Yeah, well, I would encourage you if you haven't joined yet, join for the Backyard Baseball streams, which will probably be coming in September. Those are my favorite things to stream. Good night. Just a quick check up on the ex-wife, and then we'll be gone. <sighs> Go to achievements. I I will when I get back. Okay. Oh, we also really should equip the compass. Because even though I have gotten 112%, I still don't know my way around. Doggone it. My ex-wife is really far away. I'll go back to the main menu and I'll look at achievements in a bit. But for the time being, I gotta pay a visit to my ex-wife. And... In case those of you forgot, my ex-wife is the weird monster who gives you the journal and is like, Ima Doja, how many monsters have you killed? There's no forns on the ceiling, there's no forns on the ceiling. La, 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 la. Oh, I, is that the name? Here's the running gag is I don't remember the names of basically any character in this game. I thought the main character was named Hollow Knight for the longest time. I did not remember Hornet's name for the longest time. I just called her like Ballerina Girl. I don't. Oh no! OBS Studio, you disconnected. You son of a gun! You couldn't wait like. One minute. You couldn't wait, like, literally one minute. You just had to disconnect right now. Right as I'm getting to the end of things, you couldn't wait just the tiniest bit of time. You just had to go about and do this and ruin things. Cool. Great. Awesome. Thanks. Super awesome. I totally appreciate it. It's definitely not annoying in the slightest. Good lord. This was a bad stream. 
I'm ashamed of this stream. This was terrible. Can't connect to the network because uh, screw you, Artie. Oh my gosh. We just really, really want to disconnect and make it so that you will never end the stream. And this is why I don't play rage games. And this is why if I had known the Path of Pain was going to be the Path of Pain, I would not have done it. OBS really doesn't want me to finish the stream. We're here at Hunter. Hey, ex-wife. Ah, oh, your journal grows fat and full. Only those last few rare beasts remain left to stalk. Search the kingdom's corners. Complete the journal. Earn your well-deserved reward. How have I not cleared the journal? I've done everything! Oh, well, if you, there's one unique enemy that you only get if you can play the, the Pantheon of Hollow Nest. And by the way, even if you complete the journal, you don't actually get anything. That's what I'm getting. It says in the corner 61... Come on! Come on, man! Get... How did I miss two? I would I did everything! I did everything but the Zote fight and the Den of the Hollow... Or the Pantheon of the Hollow Nest. But that's just bosses we've already fought. And you told me that the... The, uh... What's his name? I already forget his name. The Zote guys don't actually show up in here. Oh, Radiance does, though. Interesting. Well, that was a waste. Progress will be saved. Alright, so if I go back to achievements... Quests! I'm sorry, not achievements. Quests. We acquired four, we acquired all. Which ones did we not get? Neglect. Leave Zote to die. I should have left Zote to die. He was the biggest pain in the butt ever. Secret. This achievement is hidden. Why do they do that? Why did they do... Oh, this secret is... This is a secret achievement, and you'll never find it unless you look it up. Oh, look, another secret. Speedrun 1. Complete the game in under 10 hours. Complete the game in under 5 hours? Impossible. Unless you're a speedrun. Achieve 100% completion and finish the game in under 20 hours? I'm not... No way! Finish the game in Steel Soul mode? Absolutely not. Achieve 100% game completion and finish the game in Steel Soul mode? Nope. Record all of Hollow Nest's creatures in Hunter's Journal? I... Should have that. Receive the Hunter's Mark? I probably should have that, I guess. This secret... This is a secret achievement. This is a secret achievement! We'll never tell you what it is. Wonderful. <laughs> No, I'm I'm done. I'm done. I'm again. So I guess fa final thoughts. Hollow Knight's an amazing game, no doubt about that. It's a masterpiece. It completely blew me away. I went into this expecting it to be like a short five-hour game and not a sixty-hour game. So I may have done the stream a bit differently if I had known in advance how long it was going to be. Still really enjoyed it. It was very fun on the whole. I really enjoyed a lot of the bosses. It just so happens to coincide that a lot of the end game stuff was just colossally terrible <laughs> when it comes to actually playing it and getting enjoyment out of it. I guess the Pantheons were kind of fun until you got to the later ones, and the whole Path of Pain was awful. All of the spirit battles where it's like, fight the same spirit battle a hundred times, but they get more powerful each time, was just like, why? There was no reward for that. It's still a very good game, though, and I would highly recommend it, and I, I rank it very highly. It's easily one of my favorite modern games I've played, but... I'm very, very much burnt out on this now, <laughs> and I will probably not be playing it again for a very, very long time, so I definitely enjoyed it, and I really, really appreciate you guys uh, joining in for this and giving me all the help and guidance and just having fun. I, <laughs> I, I wish these last two streams could have been a little better and not just filled to the brim with rage, but... Well, I guess that's that's one of the dangers of doing blind playthroughs, and one of the reasons why I generally don't like doing blind playthroughs, because stuff like this happens. But I still thoroughly enjoyed this game, so I give it a big two thumbs up. I honestly just feel like they should have cut some of the content. We don't need 
20 Zote battles. We don't need 5 Poop Bro battles. We don't- we didn't really need the Coliseum, that wasn't that fun. Yeah. They, them's, them's my thoughts. But yeah, very good graphics, gorgeous art style. I can't- is it really like- it wasn't one guy who made the whole thing. It was like a team, it was an indie team who made this, right? There's no way one guy made this all. I've kind of thought going into this that it was made by one person, but... I should go kill the ho- I'm- no. No, I'm not doing any more. This stream should have ended an hour and a half ago. You have to understand, I normally only stream for an hour and a half on weekdays, and I have to get up early for work, so... No, I'm not- I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> like I said, I'm burnt out. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm tired. <laughs> this game kind of drained me. I'm gonna go eat some cookies and just breathe a sigh of relief that we don't have to play <laughs> that I don't have to do any more of this. <laughs> Again, I really liked it. I just didn't like a lot of the end game content. So there we go. As for what we stream, well, we will be continuing the Majora's Mask Randomizer on Saturday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so that's very fun. I don't think we'll be doing Backyard Baseball next week. I think I'm going to start that in September, so I'll have to think of a small filler game. I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to play something that's just plain fun. Something that's easy and stress-free and fun on next week. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going <laughs> to, going to, detox my brain from that. I, I don't know what it'll be yet. I may not even announce it ahead of time, but I'm gonna find something just nice and relaxing stress-free. Maybe, maybe, maybe I will just, like, play MS Paint and just draw stuff. I don't even know, but we're gonna find something fun to do. We're gonna have some... We're gonna find something fun to do, so... And at the very least, Majora Rando will continue on Saturday. That will be very fun. I really, really like playing that, but... All right, I'm signing off now. This has been a very good stream series. Just wish it could have ended a little bit better. Thank you all very much for joining in, especially if you joined in for the whole thing. Really appreciate it. Look forward to more of my streams and Let's Plays in the future. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night. God bless everyone.